Hey guys, what's up? So we're going to be looking at word problems with fractions, okay? And it says in a word problem, we have to translate the English sentences into a problem dealing with the stated arithmetic operations. We then solve the problem using a logical sequence. All right. So let's look at the first question. It says, how many three sevenths are there in six? Okay, so to solve this problem, uh, it says how many three sevenths are there in six? So we would have to do have to divide six um, by three over seven because we're trying to find how many three sevenths are in six. Okay. All right. So that's the uh, logical sequence. We're going to divide the three over seven in six to see how many times three over seven is in six. Okay. Uh, so when we're dividing. We're going to end up with 6 multiplied by 7 over 3. So I'm going to cancel this 3 and this 6 here. I'm going to get 2. And 2 times 7 would give me 14. All right. So that's the answer for that one. Okay. All right. So that's for number 1. So let's look at number 2 now. Number 2 says, right. So it says divide the half by 1 over 4. So we'd end up with 1 over 2, which is the half, divided by 1 over 4. So we're going to flip the right side, right, when we divide in. So we're going to get half multiplied by 4 over 1. 2 goes into 4 two times. So we're going to end up with 2 over 1, right, which is just 2. So 2 is the answer for this one, guys. Then let's look at three. Number three is similar to number one. It says, how many times does two over three go into six? Uh, so it's the same thing. We we'll have to divide six by two over three. So we're going to end up with, we're going to flip the right side. So we're going to get six multiplied by three over two. Two goes into six uh, three times and three times three should give us nine. And that's the answer. And the fourth one now, uh, it says, how much is 7 over 10 of $1? Okay, so remember, of means multiply. Okay, guys. So we're going to get 7 over 10 multiplied by $1, right? Okay, so we should just end up with, uh, let's say this is 1 over 1. So this 7 multiplied by this one and this 10 multiplied by this one should give us the same 7 over 10, right? Which is the same thing as uh, 70 cents because remember this was $1, right? Which is, right, right, 70 cents. So it would be the same thing as uh, $0.70, right? 70 cents. All right. All right, guys. So these are pretty much the word problems. You're going to get a worksheet uh, with some questions similar to these uh, to show you the different ways uh, that we can break fractions in. And thank you so much for watching this lecture. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. All right, guys. So that's it. And I'll see you in the next lecture. And remember to do your best and God will do the rest.